in Telangana and in Andhra Pradesh. Such a stupid people. They cannot share water. What else they can share? And then you become selfish and more selfish not to share your waters. Then nature has beautiful methods to remove you from this earth. She has tsunami. It's not an accident, please remember that. She has AIDS. You find remedy for it, there will be other diseases. Always on this earth there is one disease which cannot find a cure. And human being, human being finds a cure for that disease, and the disease comes which he cannot cure. So nature gets a secret weapon with itself, and she knows how to check you. If you have a New York or Bombay, all the houses are there, you have skyscrapers, anything you don't want to share your place. Don't say that I don't have place. Somebody wants to sleep in their house, don't say, I don't have a place. Because place doesn't belong to you, the sky belongs to God. For such a mentality is there when you are counting every inch of it. Then a day will come that everything goes sinks into the earth. New York is very dear to see and Bombay is very dear to see. If the same mind is acted upon for some years to come, we don't find both states, we get submerged in the sea, that's the way, always away. The social, you know, if you understand in a proper way, how best a man can do by shit. It's called again. If you don't want to share, it will be destroyed. All suffer. That's where the whole sense of social distrust. There are different types of men who have been washed away. The whole nation was, continent was washed away at the time of Atlantis. And at the time of Atlantis there were great rituals and these pyramids are nothing but the property of Atlantis which have been, some people have got to Mexico. Some have gone to Egypt and they have their own way of developing it. If you see the history of nations. And then, when a group settles, there are five groups always exist. Seven are the sub races, sub race they call it. But we will have one root race which has already expired. Now we are in Aryan root race. The Aryan root has a seven sub races. Out of one race starts coming and then the one ray starts to break. This race means Arya C races. We can easily see that there is white people, one race, black people, and the race. Brown people, we are in the race. Yellow people, and the race. And red people, and the race. They are called red races. We have five, definitely five races. And another race is coming, which is called the sixth root race. That's where the sociology all, all depends upon. The sixth root race, for that one lakh. Indian deaths. People have been already recruited, they have been getting trained for the last 250 years under the direction of Vashkodia and Vashkodia. These two people are training <coughs> one like people, they are cutting your skin. Some of these assistant people are in the bodies and out of the bodies. They have been experimented. How the man who creates these things, who is in charge of creating a new race? He selects one person, a male, and then 
if you said training for one life, that's what he is introduced as new age group of workers. And that person will be married to a person who is also trained in the same way. They are within us, they live like us, they have their own being like us, but you don't know they are Sikhu root as persons. Secretly they grow. And these two are married and they will have a child who belongs to Sikhu This again this fellow is right from childhood trained in this system place and this master himself gets him married though he doesn't like the girl to get married to a system place woman and then they give birth to another system place in this way the families are already selected unlike families are selected unlike people are selected they take birth as male and female, whatever it may be, and having children. And each birth, each birth, they develop into the sister root race. Sister root race, what is minimum qualities of sister root race, is what all we have been learning, they learn it by just 10 years each. For 10 to 12, 13 years, they will be able to read secret doctrine and just understand it. We have been studying it. Until last part years, still I think we don't have what it is. For them, they read Bhagavad Gita for a couple of times and then they start practicing yoga. And they have a sixth sense because they are sixth to praise. And they will receive teaching through impression. That is the age of sixth root age people. So they are forming it. They call it third day. It's open. Third day is not a physical line. It's a mental line. They be trained. Some of the people, they themselves don't know how they are trained also. But still they are still on this place. And only through the world, if you find them, you have only one lakh people. All the are not in the physical body. Some of them, that body, take bodies. Okay. Great serious suction. The new body will immediately take life. We take another birth into the sixth root test group family. Such families are set apart. They will be vegetarians. Because sixth root test becomes all vegetarians. Then there will be no non vegetarian in sixth root test. Pure thought. For them, only sex is important to have children, and nothing other times sex doesn't come to their mind. It's very difficult things. But still, as purification goes on, goes on, it can happen. It can happen. And there are a lot of books written on six root race, which one, one day your lecturer will give a lecture on this six root race qualities. And more and more, female will be more important than man in the coming system. Because she will have, because her body itself suits the sister root race vibrations to be received. And then uh, they will be intuitive. And they will be able to hold themselves into the presence of a group. The very treat of a sister root race is always he lives with a group, forms a group. He lives in a group and a group always follows him. When there is a group around you, for good or bad, then you have reached the higher mental plane. That's what I have been telling in the, morning, in the beginning. And then you will be touching into the buddhic plane. Then you are a disciple to be initiated. Initiate always goes along with a group of people along with them, he lives with them. Wherever he goes, there is always a group. A group is attracted to so he doesn't attract a group. If you just stay, do what the work is given to him, automatically the group attracts like a magnet attracts the iron filings. A group of the 
similar beings that I have been told you, the thought that you entertain will be the people whom you entertain around you. So these social beings, when they develop into the, settle into the villages, in the river banks, they affect such people who are common with their mode of thinking. And these things, because five races are there, the mind of a European is entirely different from the mind of an Indian. Whatever training you do, still a European is European. And I've been gone to these countries quite a lot of times. You cannot give a training what I can give to an Indian, to an European. But they have their own special qualities which have been developed by the race which has been developing. And we have our own special qualities. And now there is a great effort has been done to fuse this East and West minds, not the physical minds. People think that East and West fusion means marrying Eastern and Western. It's not, it's called confusion, it's not fusion. We are more synthetic and compound, they are more analytic. The analysis is very good and then what little they learn is a perfection of consistency and accuracy. We learn a lot of things and we do nothing else. Do nothing at all, most of us. They learn small things, they put it into practice. That's the difference between an Eastern and Western races. So, so also the Chinese have their own special qualities. The Japanese have their own qualities because of the place in which they live. And the Manu says, people say that Manu, first of all, puts you into the somewhere in Africa. And then you develop, develop, you are put into Australia then to the yellow race and then to Europe and America and then the end you are born in India. To have a body in India is a great, great, great opportunity to develop. Because the very earth and soil where this has been Trodden by the great, great, great saints. This way there is automatic spiritual vibration on this earth. And the training, you have, spiritual training that you get in Bharat or India, what you want to call it, is same thing, same effort. If you want to put it in the West, it takes 100 times an effort. What an effort do you put in Europe? One hundredth effort you put in India, it will be successful. They put 100 effort, we don't put 100th effort. That's the, I think, difference between an European and an Indian. Most of the Europeans have read the books of Joel Kola, the 24 books. They have arcade school, they have schools. How many of the Indians have read them? How many of the Indians have read them? One or two people who belong to six churches. People who can speak in Sanskrit in Frankfurt and Bonn, Germany. They can speak in Sanskrit, Germans. How many of Indians we can speak in German, Sanskrit? And that is the effort they put. Because they like Sanskrit and now German likes Sanskrit if you just quote ten slokas of Sanskrit and then give a lecture. You are venerated in Germany. Because Indo-Germanic language, the all have Sanskrit as the base. So they respect Sanskrit as their father and mother. In India, we don't respect it because we can't make it as a national language. Because a lot of other people are there too. They'll be hurting. You cannot uh, practice a sloka of uh, 
Sarasthi in the schools to get us against secularism. You can pray Jesus Christ, there's no problem. <laughs> if you chant the mantra or something from Rigveda or a shloka of uh, Sarasthi, then it is not secular. Christian shlokas, they are secular. That's how we corrupt ourselves. That's why we have been corrupting ourselves. So the commitment, each race has special qualities. And then what Manu does is, now he is going to blend all these qualities. And have intercontinental marriages, first of all. Some confusion. <laughs> and then a lot of people have been started going to Europe. And now most of the Indian teachers are there in Europe to teach the Europeans, the Indians, because they find a, a kind here too in Western countries, they are in India. Very few people are. There are a lot of channels in TV nowadays, Astas, Asta channels, Bhakti and a lot of channels are there. And these type of channels are there already in Europe. Now we started having channels a couple of years back. Previously there was no channel like that. <clears throat> Nowadays, always, at the beginning of the century, there will be influx of spiritual energy. Until 2025, there will be people started learning about what is spiritualism and going deep into it. Then, after 2025, and the 50 years, there will be a dull period and concentrating upon their own luxuries. We don't know how this century is going to happen, but tremendous spiritual energies are pouring in down through the constellation Aquarius, Spica, Castor, Pollux, Sirius, Polaris, Regulus, a lot of people are coming from Regulus to draw the currents of the Regulus. And these fixed stars, are, these constellations are working on this human being and beautiful energies are coming. And whenever such energies are there, whenever there is a great teacher is there, there is a new form of civilization. The Buddhist church, they had their own group and their own civilization. There was a change which was not ever to have been done by any other teacher. When Christ came, there was another group of people who made become themselves Christians. And then they have their own good people on that. There are great saints in Christianity. We can't say sincere Because I did, I did my degree in sincere college, right? Sincere is a saint, great saint. His body was kept in Goa in a particular church which has not been soiled when he was child we went there. 250 years the body did not get spoiled. You saw the body and the last 40 years back or 20 years back some French woman has bitten his toe and now it has been eaten. For 250 years the body was as good as fresh. We saw the body about uh, I think when he's 78 years old, uh, or 30 years back, or 20 years back. See that at that time it was fresh. So great saints were there, Sanjeeva, Mother Teresa, Ida. And uh, any religion, all also are political people will enter into it and they make money out of it. It's common, they can't uh, escape from it. Some political people go into it and they come themselves call themselves Christians, but they don't help humanity at all. But some people are great people are there, any religion it happens. But it makes a mark on the civilization. Prior to Jesus Christ, most of the people in and around the, the Jordan and they are nomads. For them eating, flesh and uh, enjoying wine and nothing else was important. 
And Jesus came and the apostles came and then there was a change in them. They started working on the peace, spiritual upliftment and all these things. So this, for a social these two things go together. One is a group on the physical plane coming together and living together. Another is their spiritual growth inside. Now we are in the verge of, verge of entering into the higher planes of mind. How a higher plane of mind, the man who is living in higher planes of mind lives? Like Avogadro, the kind steel. For us, we have Abdul Kalam. These great scientists, great people, great innovators, they all live in the higher planes of mind. They have one thing in the mind, is called Ekagra. To achieve something for the man. A scientist who lives for 20 to 30 years in his own lab to find something, he, get, he gets nothing out of it after he dies, you might be able to So it so it's all happening. So let us civilize ourselves. What is a civilization or the social sociology? What is social media? Is how much you can share? Now, the time has come, beautiful opening side making, because there are a lot of schools of Chinese and Japanese in the Western countries. Still, India has not resumed them. And we have a lot of uh, Buddhistic gems, these rituals, and black belt in uh, some of these rituals. I know in depth what is Buddhism is and what is this general truth is. And uh, I'm a seventh degree. And I can teach if you want the general business for you if you want. It's not so important because our own Vedas are more higher than what they teach. Our own tantras are much higher than what they teach. And they derive everything from our own books, but still for it. Nice refreshment, we can also enter into this Chinese teachings, but Chinese, they are opening themselves. The West is opening themselves, there are a lot of doctors of occupation and occupation in the West who come to China and learn. Now, we occupation doctors are very less in the Asia, but I think one or two doctors are not many. And this is being developed, the centers and everything is, they are brought from India only. We forgot and they have developed. So each day has its own special quality of developing some things which are minute. So now the time has come that we share with each other because of the communication, because of the transportation and convenience. The systems are so much developed nowadays. What all developed all these 40 years is one is you can go to America within 10 hours. You can communicate with any country with seconds. So these are the two things the God has given for us. Now let us become more social beings and then enjoy. What all other nations teach, because always you better for sharing, we have something to give to the world. And West is looking towards us as decade. They say that it is decade of the East, decade of India the decade of white. First of all, let us learn what is right in India. Then we can give to them this some of the light. And let us share in this coming classes about the scriptures, the depth of the scriptures, where I come often to give you the gist. And each scripture I give you, well, because I'm an expert in Bible, the only Western scripture I can do, what I write of stories of the Bible which are connected to Vedas. Otherwise, whenever I go to Brussels, I give definitely two lectures.